Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Legend of Frontier video and today I'll be reacting to the new champion, Nila. She is the first champion revealed in the Onward expansion, you know, the expansion that's about to come next week. So I'm super excited. She already looks really, really cool. Uh, we already reacted to her package, so, you know, six new cards. So if you want to check that review, uh, you can watch yesterday video and yeah, she already seems amazing. Like, honestly, dude, she's incredible. The art, honestly, never fails me. Never fails. And yeah, phenomenal. I, you know me, I just love pirates. I'm a sucker for pirates. You know, I can't deny it. I just love pirates. And that's so interesting. The Riot actually chose to make her a Bilgewater champion and not a Runeterran champion. Uh, but yeah, that totally works for me. I mean, I love Bilgewater region and more Bilgewater champion. It's just, you know, better for me. So let's hope she's good and let's actually get into the, you know, reaction. <laughs> Joy! Unbound Joy. and everlasting. Yeah, Slipstream. Wait, okay, so... <clears throat> Slipstream we already went through. Uh, Nila herself. Oh, that's, she's a 2 mana 2-3. Two, that's interesting. For some reason, I thought she would be like a 4 or a 5 cost. Uh, 2 mana, okay. So, Brash. Okay, new keyword. I mean, the new keyword they gave to Jack. That's awesome. More Brash support. Uh, attack. Create a slipstream in the top six cards of your deck. Oh, so she also create a slipstream. I mean, kind of obvious. Okay. You've drawn 16 plus cards. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so this is retroactive. This is not like Twisted Fate. He doesn't need to be on board and then you need to draw nine cards. You need to draw 16 cards. Wow, that's super easy as Build Rotter. That is super easy. Okay, so she's practically leveled up, you know, really easily, really easily. I'd even go as far as to say by turn six. By turn six, you can level her up. I'm pretty sure. If you build a deck around card draw, which, you know, you can easily with build rotor. I mean, that's kind of the thing. Uh, yeah, she can easily level up by turn six, in my opinion. You know, just quickly thinking about that. Does it concern this our venture into the unknown? Knowledge reveals our limits. Let us test them. Accept my challenge! Uh -huh. she generated it. Oh, nice animation. Ooh, new card! Okay, we will read it. Oh, nice. Okay, so a new card. Oh, monkey. Oh my god, that's a monkey with four arms, dude. What? What is this art? Oh my god, it's 10 out of 10 art, dude. What? That's insane. Okay, so four mana, two, one. Oh my god, okay. Uh, Dedicant of the challenge? Is that, is that how you say it? Dedicant? Dedicant? Okay, I don't know English. I'm sorry. <laughs> of the challenge. Uh, when I'm summoned, updraft your hand. You, to grant me plus one, plus one for each card updrafted and draw two. What is updraft? Okay, updraft. Shuffle a card into your deck and reduce its cost by one. No, dude. No. No, dude. Oh my god, dude. Hearthstone used to have this exact same card. That's crazy. And you updraft your entire hand, you mulligan. You mulligan and against plus one plus one for each card. So if you had a full hand, dude, and draw two, dude, that's literally a four mana that can possibly be like a ten ten, like an easy. I mean, like a ten nine or something like that. That's insane. That's insane. That's nuts. I mean, on average, let's say you have five cards okay i mean with a card draw based deck obviously you're gonna have more but for the sake of the argument let's say you have the average let's say you have five cards so you have five cards in hand you drop this card it's minus one so you have four cards in hand and yeah so we gain plus four plus four and you draw two so you have six cards in hand and this is a four mana uh Six, six five that's giga nuts that is nuts that is insane 
That is insane. Mind, I need to mention you. The cards you shuffle into your deck getting reduced by one. That is giga nuts, my dude. That is nuts. Oh my god. Also, you can, I think you can actually uh, get back the cards you updrafted, right? When I'm summoned, updraft your hand, and then you shuffle a card into your deck and reduce its cost by one and draw two. Oh no, I misunderstood it. Okay, I misunderstood it. I, I thought for some reason updraft actually redraws you the card. Okay, so yeah, yeah, okay. So I get it now. So you mulligan your hand to draw two. So you empty your hand to draw. Okay, that's not that good. That's actually not that good. My bad. I kind of misunderstood a card. Thank God I'm actually reading cards now. And, uh, no, and some embarrassment, <laughs> you know, is not needed here. Is avoided, indeed. Okay, so, okay, let, let's rethink it. Let's rethink it. So, four mana. Let's say you mulligan five cards. So, you mulligan five cards. It's a four mana, six, five. And give you a hand of two. Ah, that's tough. That's tough. That's kind of tough. Ooh. Yeah, that's really tough. That's interesting. That's, uh, you know what? I don't really know. That's an interesting card. I guess we have to wait and see and kind of test this card out. M and maybe in aggro. It could be, it could be kind of nice. You can drop it in... Ah, but even in aggro, it's a 4 mana, like 2-1. So, ah, that's interesting. That's so interesting card. You know what? Let's not get too stuck about this card. Let's just continue. But yeah, uh, really nice card. Your drive towards your limits is admirable, nice. brother. Oh, that's such a sick animation. Your strength is lacking. Oh, he's deep. Careful. I seize the Slips your mass animation. Oh. What terrorizes you? Take Ooh. me to them. Oh my god, dude. The oh, that's what's so sick. I really love the sentence as well. Let let's actually watch this again. Oh, that's such an amazing quote. Oh my god, that quote is phenomenal. Oh my god, that, that actually brought me joy. <laughs> she actually succeeded. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, if you know me, you know I love voice acting and all of this shenanigans. But yeah, okay, this is an amazing voice. Uh, so yeah, attack, create a slip string and top six card of your deck. And deal two damage to all enemies. And the enemy nexus, they cannot drop below one health from this damage. Ooh, that's super interesting. That is a super interesting card. You know what? She's really interesting. She's not really related into anything. She's That's so phenomenal. Dude, I already love her design. She's not tied to a specific role, and we haven't gotten one of these champions in a long while. I mean, I can easily see her being played in aggro, obviously, but I can also totally see her played in, like, a control deck, you know, just for that card draw. And that monkey is, you know, we just saw... He's not gonna work in control decks, obviously. So he's clearly for like a mid-range or control type of decks. And yes, yeah, super interesting. I love champions that are versatile, not like Samira where you literally... I used to think you can play Samira uh, in mid-range when she was revealed. You know, it's kind of blind, I was kind of hyped. Uh, yeah, she's strictly an aggro champion, unfortunately. But honestly, I, I really hope I'm right about Nila. Like, she just seems like such a versatile champion and she's not, you know, just strictly aggro or something like that. That's perfect. That is perfect design. Absolutely loving it. Dude, what is this music? <laughs> oh my god, incredible! Ooh, the Tidemancer! Oh, she has a boat! We'll read it later. Nice. Oh, that's a signature spell. <laughs> nice animation. Oh, I saw some heals. Nice. Oh, she deals damage and she has brash. Okay. <laughs> sick. Nice. Okay, that, that was sick. That was sick. So the cards, I'm um, kind of, you know, you can't really see it. It's the illusion. We went over it yesterday. So let's actually give a quick read to cards we haven't seen. Uh, Joy Unending. Give allies plus one attack this round and heal damaged ally twos. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That sort of reminds me of Maokai, Maokai signature spell. Uh, but instead of toss, you give allies plus one, which is, uh, 
Oh no, I'll give allies plus one and heal them too. That's so interesting in a mid-range tactic. Again, yeah, this seems like a mid-range package to me. Uh, okay, really nice card. Uh, Master's, Master Lookout, one mana, two, one. Once you've drawn three plus cards in around this game, grant me plus one, plus one, and Brash. So it's like a one mana, three, two with Brash. That's, you know, really good, but... Ah, yeah, this... Nah, you can't really draw three plus cards in a round. Obviously, you draw one card each round, so you kind of need to draw two cards for it to be... Uh, one mana, three, two, but at this point it's just, it's too late. Like, even the Forsaken Bakai, you can take a weapon with him, then it becomes like a three, two. Uh, doesn't have a Brash keyword, but it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, the Forsaken Bakai, but also he can predict. This card does nothing, it's just a one mana, two, one, that you need to draw to to actually make him work. Yeah, that's definitely too slow. That's too slow, that won't see any play. Uh, but I, I love the design. Interesting. Uh, so the Tide Dancer, oh my god, dude, she actually got a boat. We haven't got a boat in a long while. So 6 mana, 3, 5, interesting stat line. Uh, when I'm summoned, draw Nyla and Nila. Uh, each round, when you play your third card, okay, when you play your third card, give other allies plus 2 and brush this round. Ooh, when I would gain... Fleeting? Reveal me instead! Oh, that's an interesting keyword. That is an interesting keyword, so it kind of works with Slipstream. That, that's nice synergy. Okay. You know what? I'm down for that. That's actually pretty good. Uh, but unfortunately, this does seem like an aggro boat. And I mean, I say unfortunately because I hate aggro and I never play aggro. But if you like aggro, I'm sure you're excited for this card. Uh, but I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> Pointed. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm kind of disappointed. I really want the cool boat uh, But yeah, okay, it's definitely an aggro boat Maybe a mid-range, you know, I don't really know. It just seems like aggro to me uh, Yeah, okay, pretty cool. Still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. Her entire package is phenomenal Absolutely loving this champion and yeah, obviously build water can't wait to see what other champion will come after that was an explosive start and a really good start to this expansion uh, oh wait, I actually saw something here. Let's actually watch to the end. Ah, the music, dude. Carry me to distant lands and worthy challenges. What was that? Probably some POC stuff. Interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so... Again, such a, an explosive start to this expansion. Definitely off to a good start. Hopefully, she won't be a strictly aggro champion. Hopefully, she can be, you know, viable in mid-range and even control decks. She seems awesome. Loving her already. I uh, love the fact that they chose to actually add and one more build rider champion, even though Jack was, you know, recently introduced into the game. Uh, yeah, just wonderful design decision by Riot. Definitely, definitely happy with this one. Kate, can't wait to see what tomorrow brings in the variety pack, I believe, right? It's supposed to be a variety package. And of course, I'm going to review that. So stay tuned for tomorrow for that video. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.